One of the main factors that will determine what will happen this winter is El Nino. I am El Nino. All other tropical storms must bow before El Nino. Yo soy El Nino. For those of you who don't habla espanol, El Nino is Spanish for the Nino. <laughs> Oh, it, is, my it is perfect because that's been what everyone's talking about when you talk about the winter and a prediction. El Nino, El Nino, El Nino. I know. So what is it? You're going to let us know. Mm -hmm. That is right. This El Nino continues to grow and it could be the strongest ever recorded. What is this phenomenon? Meteorologist Kaylee Dion explains. So what is El Nino? Well, we're going to talk about a couple of different things. One, no two El Ninos are exactly alike. So when you're talking about El Nino seven to ten years ago, it's not going to be exactly the same. And we need to stop using El Nino as an adjective. There is no such thing as an El Nino storm. El Nino is a temporary change in the climate over the Pacific Ocean. So what happens is in a normal time frame, you have strong east to west trade winds and they're strong and pushing all of the warm air from the equator to the far western edge of the Pacific. So when you have all of that kind of push to one side, warm water, evaporation, that's where you have a more active weather pattern, typhoons, thunderstorms. In an El Nino, you still have those east to west trade winds, but they are much weaker. So it doesn't push all of that warm water to the far western Pacific. It kind of builds up over the eastern Pacific for spots like South America, Latin America, and the United States, this happens, that warm water, and then the winds get weaker. And then when winds are weaker, the water's warmer, and that cycle continues for several, several months. So this El Nino that we have this year has been setting up for the past six months or so and can last to about a year. Now, normally with the United States and the impacts from an El Nino, a cooler, wetter southern United States for the Northwest, a warm uh, setup and a dry setup for the Midwest. But again, as we talked about at the beginning, no two El Ninos are exactly alike, and it's just one of the puzzle pieces that make up our winter forecast. So we're going to continue throughout the show to put all those pieces together, and we'll have our winter forecast for you.